Okay, my Mevo's not working, so I hope everybody jumps back on, and I am so sorry for this. This is just so completely aggravating the life out of me. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to start over and just talk you through what I did. I feel us. My technology is awful. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put you all in the phone here. Sorry. Horrible. Okay. We're going to try this again. I am going to... Uh, just talk you through what I did for those of you that are just joining me. We were making a cotton bowl wreath, and what we did was we used uh, just a regular grapevine wreath, which was $4.99 at Hobby Lobby, and then we used a garland that I purchased from uh, Hobby Lobby. And it was about 50-some feet, 50-some feet, 50-some inches, and we just cut it. We wrapped it around where we wanted it at on our wreath, and I left this right here because I'm going to do the bow. And we just wrapped it, just laid it on top of the grapevine wreath, and I cut the excess off. And what I did was I used 8-inch zip ties and just zip-tied it into place. See? See? And I zip tied it, one, two, three, four, in five places. And the good thing about this garland is you can go in and it's movable and bendable. So you can bend it and do it how you want to do it. And I just, I love this idea. So now we were in the process of tying our bow. So again, I'm going to do that from scratch and hopefully you all can see it I'm going to unwrap this and start over this is just regular burlap wired ribbon and what I did is I took the ribbon and I just made a loop just like that and instead of laying the ribbon on top of each other, like this, I'm going to do it at an angle. Can you guys see that? How I did that? Okay. So, now I'm taking the bottom ribbon, and we're not going to twist it. So, no twisting needed. And we're just going to make another loop. See how I just brought it up? No twisting. I just brought it up and laid it on top of the other and I made a crisscross just like that and then you just want to eyeball your loops to see if you want them bigger if you want your tails bigger let's see here I think that's good and then we're just going to pinch in the middle I'm just going to pinch it in the middle, just like that. And you've got your bow up here, your loops up here, and you've got your tails down here. So this is what it's going to look like. And then I'm just taking some floor wire, just some regular old floor wire, and I'm just tying that part off. And you want to give it a good twist. Ah, there went my glue gun. And then when you're working with this, just manipulate the tails down there a little bit, fix the ribbon, and that's what we've got so far. But I don't want to leave it like this. I want to do something in the middle. So I'm taking the extra ribbon that I had, and I'm going to cut off little longer piece than usual. Hi Kimberly. 
I'm going to cut off. Mm, let's see. This is probably. Hi, Carol. About five inches. So I just cut an extra five inches off of here. So what I'm going to do is the wires are on the outside here. And I'm just going to fold that into the half just like this and then I'm going to take the other side and fold it into the half and that's what it looks like okay show you one more time I cut about five inches lengthwise I'm just taking the wire edge here and folding it into the halfway mark and then I'm taking the other side and folding it a little bit over there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here on the inside and be very very careful because the hot glue will burn the fire out of you and I'm gonna give you a little tip here see these little suckers right here these are called silicone fingertip guards and when I hot glue something like this, I put one on my finger. You can see the hot glue on it. And the glue comes off this really quick. So I'm putting one on my pointer finger and one on my thumb. So this is what it looks like. So we have our folded ribbon. And I am just going to... Do a little dab of the hot glue. And then I'm just going to take it and kind of pinch it. Oh, I know. I saw the pink ones. I wish they came in purple. So I'm just, just glued that and I'm just giving a little pinch for it to set the glue. And I just did half because I want to turn around and do the other half in just a second. Because I don't want to burn my fingers off. Uh, they had these on Amazon. Just go on. They're called um, silicone finger guards. And they were like three bucks. Um, so yeah, you definitely need to get those. Now I'm going to hot glue the other end. And I'm just dabbing it together. Letting the glue set. I'll give it a second. And this is what it's going to look like. It just looks like a, a long piece of burlap. Okay, it's good and set. Now, what we're going to do is we've got the wire back here. I'm just going to kind of move the wire to the side, just like that. And we have the center of our bow. Now, this is the front part of the bow. Let me pull that down a little bit. This is the front part of the bow, and the wire is on the back part of the bow. This long piece, I'm just going to wrap in the middle. Just like that. And then I have these pieces on the back. I'm just going to fold it over. And we've got the wire to the side. Put your fingertips back on. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the hot glue right here and then hold it together. Sometimes I still burn myself. Ah. Okay, there we go. Now that's right there. And I'm just holding it, kind of pinching it together for the glue to dry. And if you need to add a little more glue um, just to make it good, and secure you can always do that 
Just pinching it together. And you want to wait and make sure that the glue sets really, really good because you don't want it to, to get it in your wreath and then it come apart. You can just hold it. That's why these finger guards are amazing because then you don't burn yourself. Okay. I think that's good and set. Now, again, like I always say, it's better to cut a little more ribbon than too, too little because you can always take away. So I am going to dovetail this ribbon. And then I'm just going to fix this a little bit. And this is the bow we have. Very simple bow. And now I'm going to put it in the wreath. So please excuse the motion sickness. Put it down a little more. Now remember, I left the space up at the top because that's where I'm going to put my bow. Right here. So I'm just going to take the wire that I used to tie off the big bow and feed it through the grapevine. And I'm just feeding the wire through the back of the grapevine. Maybe. There we go. And then I just want to situate the bow. And then we'll fix it in just a second. And then I'm going to tie it off. And you want to tie it off pretty snugly. Snugly? Is that a word? I don't know. It's me and my hillbilliness. And you take your wire cutters. Don't cut off too much of the wire. I'll show you how much, if you can see. Can you see how much I left? Right there. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bend it and tuck it into the wreath itself. Because you don't want any pieces sticking out to scratch the door. Sorry. <laughs> See, huh, guys? Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. It doesn't take... All right. I think we're good now. So now we're just going to fix the bow. And what I like about the wired ribbon is that you can manipulate it. And then I'm just gonna take some of this cotton and just bend it. And here is our simple cotton bowl wreath with a very simple little burlap bow. Now, I do want to try one more thing, because I have this burlap. Yes, it would be pretty with pastel, pastels in it. Isn't that pretty? I have this burlap, um, this burlap roll that I got from Walmart at probably last year, and I want to see what kind of bow it makes, so we're going to do that real quick. <laughs> You know, I didn't even think that it was Valentine's Day and you all may have other things to do besides spend your evening with me. My husband's out of town, so I'm you're stuck with me. Guess it could be worse. This is the burlap that I got at Walmart last year. And it is kind of a cream color with a charcoal -y brown chevron in it and just please 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 and i'm not 
listening to my own advice unless I can find it somewhere. When you're using burlap, you really need, especially this burlap, you really need to wear a mask. Um, the burlap fibers will go into the air and it'll get into your lungs. So please use a mask. Let me see if I can find one. Nope. Okay. I ain't find it. So we're going to do the same thing with this ribbon that we did with the other one. Okay? We're going to take it, and this side you can see which is the good side and which is the not good side. So you want the good side, the tail of the good side facing you. Okay? And we're just going to make a loop. I don't know if this is going to work for a bow or not. We're going to see. So you just want to make a loop and you want to crisscross it, okay? And then you're going to take the bottom. We're not twisting. We're just going to take the bottom up on itself. Just take the bottom up on itself and crisscross it as well. So it should look like, hold on. I don't know if I'm going to like this, guys. We'll have to wait and see. So it will look something like this. I don't know. We may just scrap this one and just stay with the burlap. Well, I don't know. So what I did is I just pinched it together. And the bow is up top. But this may turn out better than I thought. <laughs> the, the bows, the loops are up top. And the tails are going to be down at the bottom. And we still have this long tail. And so I'm going to cut some wire. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you got flowers and candy and pampered and... Or if you're like me, everybody's gone, boys are at work, husband's out of town, so I chose to spend my evening with you all. All right, now I just cut some floor wire, and I'm just wrapping it around the center where I pinched it, and we're going to tie this one off really tight, because this is heavy burlap. A trick, when you're tying ribbons like this, you want to twist, you want to hold the wire and twist the bow because that makes it tighter than trying to twist the wire. Oh, you know what guys? I think I like this. So we've got the tails down here and then we've got the bows up here. You know what? After I did this, Sharon, I, I agree with you. I think this should have been the first bow. So I'm just cutting a little piece to make a tail. Now I'm going to cut another little piece, and it is about five inches in length. And again, we're just, we're going to fold this piece about halfway in. I know my lighting is horrible. And then we're going to fold this other piece kind of like on top of it. Maybe a little more. Trial and error. That's how we do creativity. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Get your finger guards on. And then we are ju just going to hot glue. It is all an adventure. <laughs> then we're just going to do hot glue here. And remember, only do half at a time because if you're like me, you forget that you've got the finger guards on. And you'll burn yourself. You just want to pinch it to make sure 
the glue is set. And don't worry on the back if you get the little glue strings because this is going to go around the bow anyway, so you're not going to see it. So we're going to glue the other half. The other half. Man, you can hear my West Virginia accent now, can't you? Actually, I'm from Ohio, so I'm a Buckeye through and through. But I went to Marshall University, so go herd. So just going to hold that together to let it tack up a little bit. See, if I wouldn't have tried this, this chevron with this, I would have just looked at it and said it, this wasn't going to make a very good bow. But I think I'm really going to like it. Okay, and if you hear my dog start barking, there they are. <laughs> Love them. Puppies. Shh. Shh. I could take the ribbon, the wire, and just put it to the side. <laughs> now we're just going to take this piece, and we are just going to wrap it around the center. Oh, I love this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. See? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Then we're just going to put our finger guards on again. And we're just going to put some hot glue. And make sure we wrap the edges together really good. You may have to take a little more glue with this one. And see, see what I did? Ow, gosh, I just burnt my finger. <laughs> ah, yeah, that felt good. Oh my gosh, that hurt. How many of you done that? Oh, it's gonna blister too. Oh, see, Ew, oh man, that hurt. Even with the finger guards, you still forget that. Oh my gosh, that's got a blister. Well, at least the FBI won't ever be able to find me because I've burnt my fingertips off so many times. So I'm just holding this together to get the glue to stick. Look at that so far. I love it. Now, if you have to, you can go back in and add a few more dollops of glue, which I'm going to do. And make sure you pinch it with your finger guards. Who's at my house? I think one of my kids just came in. Who's here? Ah, my Zachy's here. I'm on Facebook Live and I just burnt the P. Wally out of my finger. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> um, we're going to take the burlap now and we're just going to fold it in half. And we're just dovetailing. And we're going to cut at an angle from the fold. And just make a dovetail like that. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take that other bow off and put this one on. How does that sound? Let me, oh man, that hurts. Let me turn you around here so you can see what I'm doing. Do you want to say hi to everybody, Zach? Hello. <laughs> How was work? Was it great? Okay. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Happy Valentine's Day. I got you something once you get off. Okay. Ooh, my son got me something. All right. You know what? My glue's not sticking here. Hold on just a second. Let me put a little more in here.
So what did everybody get for, aw, thanks. What did everybody get for Valentine's Day? Is this four or six inch ribbon? That is a great question. Hold on, Karen, and I will measure it for you. It's actually, it says five inches. This is the, uh, this is the burlap that was, that usually Walmart has. So, all right. So we took the regular burlap one off. Oh, my finger hurts. And then we're just gonna stick this right in here and feed the wire through. I love how you all are so patient with me. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. Let me find the, the wire here. Sometimes it's hard to get the wire to go through the grapevine. I wonder what Zach got me for Valentine's Day. My other son got me the sweetest card and chocolates because they know I love chocolates. Hold on, let me tie this in here. So what did everybody get for Valentine's Day? Anybody gonna say? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Chocolates, do you love it? What do you all think? And then you can always go in with this and bring some of the cotton up. Oh my gosh, I love it. There you all go. Oh, I'm so glad I tried that ribbon. Who would have thought? Isn't that beautiful? And again, grapevine wreath from Hobby Lobby, $4.99. Use a coupon. The cotton bowl garland, it was $39.99. I got it 50% off. And then I had a gift card, so it was free for me. Um, this is the chevron burlap that um, Walmart usually has. And I think it's like three ninety seven. Um, oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. Also, with you, you walk. <laughs> you also want to go back and cut off your zip ties after you're done to clean up the back a little bit. And with that garland, I didn't use the whole garland, and it was what did I say it was like fifty six inches long. I cut off these two pieces, and you very easily could make another wreath with this. Or you could use each piece individually if you just wanted to do the little half grapevine with a bow, which I think would be very, very pretty. Well, thank you all for being patient with me during my technical difficulties, and I'm so glad I didn't curse when I burnt my finger because I usually do, so I contained myself. So go on to thatwreathlady.com. A wreath in a box is still available. Go on there and check it out. And come back uh, every Tuesday night at 7.30 Eastern, and we'll chat. We'll make wreaths. We'll do whatever we want to, okay? So I hope everybody has a very, very happy rest of your Valentine's Day. Thank you for sharing this day of love with me for a little while this evening. Um, and I will see you all very, very soon. You can continue to post comments or questions on here because I will still answer them even after this uh, goes off. So thank you, everybody, and have a great evening, and I'll see you all next week. Take care. Yes, yes, I do have private tutoring. Kimberly, thank you. Um, I am also providing very special one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, it will be through Skype or through Facebook 
or we'll find out some other way. Um, and we'll do whatever you want. If you want to learn how to make a bow, if you want to learn how to do a specific um, technique, I will sit there one-on-one -on -one with you and through the Skype and being able to see each other, we will go through everything together. Um, 30 minutes is $20. One hour is $35. You can split the hour up and do, you know, 30 minutes one week or one day and 30 minutes the next, um, however you want to do it. And you can, um, my, my date book is really filling up with that, but I would love to be able to help you. And you can go on to thatwreathlady.com um, and in the shop section, you can actually purchase a session with me. So thank you, Kimberly, for, for that. And so once again, Bye, everybody.